Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be reading this TacLife AC Voltage Detector Model VT01. In the packaging, it came with this and also a user manual. So go over a couple pages of the user manual. So if you have any questions, just feel free to pause the video. Now, it's powered by two AAA batteries, which were provided and already pre-installed. And can measure voltage from 12 to 1000 volts. Here's a closer look at the device. Unscrew this to access the battery compartment. Two AAA batteries. Some of the specs up right now on this side. And a little short clip over here. Here's the probe. A little flashlight. This part is pretty handy. Power unit on. Now it's powered on. I'm going to turn on the flashlight. I'm also going to turn on the voltage tester. Now, the moment I move this near a live wire, this will start beeping. The thing is, well, I'm still about a foot from it, or over six inches from it, and it's already going off. So then, let's say that uh, I want to see which one of these wires are hot. I'm about four inches from it, it's already being set off. Same thing over there. So it's kind of hard to gauge exactly which wire is hot because there's a lot of interference. So on the right is the tack life, on the left is one of my other voltage testers. I'm going to turn both of them on. They're both turned on. Now, I'm going to move them both towards the power source. You can see that tack life one already went off. Now, as for one down here, moving towards it. Tech life gone off already. So I'm just going to put tech life one to the side. Here's the one I got from Klein Tools. See, when I touch the wire, that's when it goes off. This allows me to better gauge uh, exactly which wire is hot. Even though this tech life voltage detector is just 10 hours, I can't recommend it because it's overly sensitive. Let's say that there are three wires and the one on the far left is the one I uh, want to work with. I want to make sure that the voltage is off, it's not flowing through it. Well, with this one, I can't rely on results because it's overly sensitive. Whereas, the, I mean, my other one, this one costs significantly more than Tech Life, but at least I don't get any false readings. I need to actually press it, touch it, then it'll read it. It's not like a, this one, what's that? Over here, uh, I can be like a foot or so from the power source and it'll be set off. So yeah, with that said, no, I won't recommend this. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster.